In April of 2010, I was diagnosed with a large brain tumor, and it was a malignant one. I was told that I would have two to three months to live to two to three years to live. The doctor, when he diagnosed me, was he basically told us to uh, go home and get my things in order. And I think one of the most devastating thing for me is that um, when we got married, I always wanted Lindsay to have my, uh, my, my children. I've had two major brain surgeries, 60 radiation treatments, and six different rounds of chemo. So my first uh, surgery was in August of 2010. It was a nine and a half hour surgery, and they actually had to wake me up for bits and pieces of the surgery to get me to move my right hand and my right leg. That left me, after the surgery, unable to move my right arm and my right leg. So I had to basically relearn how to move it. And the brain is amazing that it has, it can like be missing a chunk and then it just finds a new pathway. So it took me, the first 48 hours um, to to learn how to talk and to, to to walk again basically that was really frustrating and I always tell people now that I've experienced it um, what it's like to be in a state where you know what's going on mentally but you just can't verbalize what you want to say and yeah and it felt very very trapped so through the years we have seen God's faithfulness um, when Kyle was first diagnosed, we were we just felt completely hopeless. Mm -hmm. The fact that they were told he was going to die within the year, and we were 23 years old and starting our lives together, mm -hmm. um, we just were devastated. And we just, for the first time, opened scripture, opened the Bible, and started reading it for ourselves the stories of Jesus healing and just the New Testament and we started having this hope building inside of us for the first time. We saw miracle after miracle with Kyle. It's been 11 years and we were able to have four children that are healthy and beautiful and mm -hmm. we're very thankful for that. I know in my spirit I'm healed and um, whether I see it manifest here on earth or when I'm gone and in heaven um, and I know that my wife and children are going to be in heaven as well so that's where my hope is. This year has been our most challenging year with Kyle having seizures and the cancer coming back. Just the whole COVID adding more stress to our lives, not being able to go to his doctor's appointments with him and um, that's been really, really hard. Mm -hmm. At the beginning of our journey, we really were angry. You have a lot of emotions in dealing with cancer. Anger and anxiety mm -hmm. and fear, just like grounding ourselves in the Word of God has gotten us through the hard times and just the promise that He's going to carry us through these storms. Mm -hmm. And He has, and He's never left us. No. And we can say every day He's a good good father. <laughs>